Kardashian reveals the reason why she isn't as close with her sisters. Why Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio went weeks without talking. All that and so much more on today's show. What is up you guys? I'm your girl Susan Morad. Hey, I'm your host Carly Henderson. And Kourtney Kardashian Barker has revealed that she's not as close to her sisters anymore, particularly Chloe. Sister relationships are often complicated. And while they were once joined at the hip, it seems as though Court and sister Khloe Kardashian aren't as close as they once were. During an interview on the Not Skinny But Not Fat podcast, Courtney opened up to host Amanda Hirsch after Amanda said that fans have noticed Courtney and Coco's relationship isn't what it used to be. I think we're, I think just life isn't the same. Yeah, life. I think I'm in a different place. Elaborating more on what could have caused the pair to drift, Courtney shared that after Chloe and sister Kim welcomed kids around the same time, the pair effectively became a lot closer. Chloe was pregnant, but with True. Yeah. And then I think, was Kim pregnant? Did they have kids? Oh, they had the kids same? at the same time. She had yeah. a surrogate at that time, right. maybe? Yeah. yeah. So I just felt like they really bonded. bonded, like they were going through the same things. Courtney also admitted that she wasn't thrilled with their reality show around that same time too. Right, partially because her two sisters were ganging up on her from time to time. I mean, to be like, pushed to the point of like, not not that anyone pushed me, but it was like the daily stuff to where I like had the rage inside to yeah. like scratch my sister or whatever, like <laughs> whatever in the there. fight, whatever, yeah. I probably blacked out. But like, yeah, it was like a lot. I mean, who can forget that major fight? Don't ever come at me like you that. Don't, I stop. swear to God, I'll punch you in your face. No, no. Come. The true is ever. Then shut the f up. Don't ever. You do it or shut the f but not to worry, things are all good between the sisters and there will always be a bond and a lot of love. Naturally, Court shared that they have been FaceTiming lots while expressing each have different needs. I feel like Chloe and I are good. I spoke to her like the whole time she was in Milan. We were, you know, FaceTiming, you know, we're... We're it, good. I was actually surprised Courtney opened up publicly that they're not as close as they once were. Of course, they're sisters and there will always be so much love between them, but it was interesting to hear that things have changed behind the scenes. I think since Courtney and Travis have been together and they all did take a break from filming the show, Courtney seems happier than ever. I feel like this is so natural. Like you go through new life stages and it only makes sense that the people that you're closest with just shifts a little bit. I'm glad that she talked about this though because as viewers, I think we definitely noticed it. I really loved when it was Courtney and Chloe on a little team, but these days I cannot imagine anyone being as close to Courtney as Travis. Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio are getting real about how their relationship hasn't always been as great as it is today. The sisters recently stopped by the Drew Barrymore show and shared how they really feel about each other. Drew asked them for advice on when she should step in on fights with her own two daughters, and then Dixie dropped this revelation about when they were younger. We like hated each other, so like bad. absolutely hated talk. each other. What and ages? Middle school. Mm. All of middle school until we went to got into high school together. Yeah. Hey, middle school is a tough age. Like it just happened out of nowhere though, so. Like, we would go weeks without talking. Charlie is now 18 and Dixie is 21, and thankfully, a little growing up did the trick. They also said that now, most of their fights are actually intensified by their parents. When parents <laughs> get involved in siblings' fights, I think that makes it so much worse. Ah, <sighs> sisters. The fact that their dynamic took this turn in middle school does not surprise me at all. It's been a little while, a couple years since I was in middle school, but everything at that age just feels so intense. You're trying to figure out who you are, your emotions are through the roof. I can say though that from experience, while my sister and I weren't as close during those years, we actually have a similar age gap to Charlie and Dixie, we eventually became super tight and I'm so glad because she's one of my best friends. My big sister is my best friend slash soulmate. I say it all the time and we barely ever fought it's Kids, I think you go through a short phase, but you figure out pretty quickly that having a sister is a best friend for life. If you get along, that is. I definitely feel blessed in that way. Now it's time for some other major stories this week to determine if they're fact or cap. Are Taylor Swift and Drake dropping a collab? It's looking like that could be facts. According to The Sun, Tay will be dropping a secret song that she reportedly worked on with Drake during sessions for her 2017 album, Reputation. Was Kylie Jenner a mean girl to Bella Hadid during Paris Fashion Week? That is Cap. 
Speculation surfaced on social media after Kylie and bestie Stassi were spotted in the front row at one of Bella's fashion shows featuring her now viral spray-on dress. After clips circulated, social users claimed that the two girls chatting was giving very much Mean Girls vibes. However, Kylie spoke out to clarify exactly what was said, sharing, We said she is hot as f we could never. I mean, that moment of Bella with that spray on dress was everything. Is Rihanna nervous about her upcoming Super Bowl halftime show? That's facts. Riri was asked a few questions during a recent grocery store run and revealed to the paparazzi that she's nervous about her halftime show, but added that she's excited. Now we just have to wait until February to see who she decides to bring up on stage. I mean, you'll get the invite. Oh, girl. <laughs> Did Pete Davidson remove his tattoo dedicated to Kim Kardashian? Well, the verdict is still out on that one. Pete had everyone doing a double take after he was spotted wearing a bandage where he used to have a My Girl is a Lawyer tattoo. However, a source told Page Six that the covering was not related to removing the lawyer tattoo. I knew it! Best of luck! Are Gigi Hadid and Leonardo DiCaprio taking their relationship to the next level in Paris? According to a source, that's facts. An insider told E! News, Gigi is grateful he came into her life during this time and has said it's exactly what she needed. Leo is very laid back and she likes that the relationship is casual and easy. She's been enjoying the time they have been spending together. Ooh la la! And quick update my friends, this is actually my last video for Clever News for now because I'm actually moving to a new city, I'm going to Seattle, so you guys can follow my Instagram at carlyhenderson underscore for updates coming soon. I've honestly loved chatting celebs with the Clever fam and co-hosting with you Susan, you're the best, and I'll see you guys on the interweb. I've loved having you here with us over the last year and you will be missed. I'll miss you too, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye. bye.